I'm, I'm trying to get big. I'm trying to be an open pro bodybuilder. I'm going to start taking six IUs of GH a day. If I don't take insulin, my pancreas is going to die. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Quick ASMR sip of 1907. Check it out in the description for my gym water coupon code Russo. Quick ASMR spritz, Andrew. Everyone's been yelling at me like I shoot the cologne this close. Like the cologne snobs are like, you're not getting enough distance. So here's the distance as it hits my face. You can't even hear the noise. The point is to hear the noise. Anyways, check it out. Intelligent Elephant Carbon Coupon Code Russo. Today's topic is going to be quick and it's going to be simple. It's GH is not a free ride. Basically, everyone thinks that you can just add in GH and nothing bad happens. I'm going to keep this video simple and not go into the finite specifics. If you look into the medical data, and I'll find some data for Andrew to show, basically one to two units of growth hormone a day showcases improved longevity. Now, one to two units, if you're in the bodybuilding world, that's like extremely low, right? It's nowhere near the bodybuilding dosages of four to 10 to 12 units. I know AIDS patients that have personally been prescribed 12 to 14 units of pharma. That is in the super physiological dosages that are gonna cause way more cell replication. When your cells replicate, you're aging your cells faster. Sure, you're multiplying your cells, but those cells are replicating, replicating. Each replication is you aging. So when I see these guys like, and especially really young guys, this is the really young guy thing of like, yeah, I'm like, all I need is GH, bro. The GH money is hard to afford, but I need that four to six IUs at 20 years old. It's like, slow the fuck down with the GH. Like Andrew online, it's like this magical, like fountain of youth when in the dosages they do, it's not the fountain of the youth. It's, it's a complete facade to gain muscle rapidly, but by causing all that cell replication, you're hyper aging your cells. And you will not notice this until upper 30s, upper 40s you'll start to notice i'm not i don't want to throw them under the bus but i will what's a nice way to put this oh i'll have andrew throw up an old picture of kurt angle and i'll have andrew throw up a current picture of kurt angle now i'm a real big fan of kurt angle i am not trying to throw him under the bus i'm saying that he's been very open about his androgen abuse you can inclinate that he's used a lot of growth hormone in his life you can see the before and the after that andrew throws up the reason why he's you know deteriorated in that sense is because when the aging process starts reversing itself and you start getting Getting older you start to wither away rapidly as does any old guy right any old guy eventually you start withering away rapidly well when you use super physiological amounts of gh for two three decades you put your cells in that point much sooner than if you just again conservatively fucked around with one to two ius is what the medical data seems to let you get away with or you stayed away from gh entirely maybe you did like a secreta gog every once in a while like mk677 or cjc with dac or ip morellin something like that that's even lower risk but if you're going buck wild with pharma gh and you're going over four ius a day this is going to happen and you're going to face this earlier in your life than someone who doesn't abuse gh or someone that's very hyper conservative because there's always a price to pay you're gonna pay the piper right you're gonna pay the piper and i remember like when i first started like you know i was into bodybuilding around 18 19 you guys saw me messing around with the sarms but like personally i knew that gh was needed for a competitive pro physique i knew that if i continue going down this road i still had the passion i still had the drive then i would implement gh i would throw that card on the table later in my career and around 23 i implemented one to two ius of gh and I noticed a tremendous difference in my physique. Before then, I was messing around with MK677, which the max amount of IU's equivalent apparently is 2 IU, most likely being 0.5 IU to 1 IU of endogenous GH. Now, you, you know, reverse to a different person who just jumps out the gates at 18, 19, six i use a gh a day because that's what the top open people are taking boom you can see how they will face the repercussions 
two, three decades down the line where they might not even have the education because of said coaches like, oh, GH is fine. You got to add GH in there. Yeah, yeah, steroids make you big, but if you want that new permanent tissue, you got to add in all that GH pathway in there, which I agree from a biohacking perspective. I agree, but there is no free ride with this GH. You are going to rapidly age your cells and you are going to face tons of problems just associated with the cell replication alone, not associated with the heart growth, not associated with organ growth, not associated with the cranium growth and the face growth, the skeleton adaptation of having higher GH. My jaw has changed since abusing 677 and abusing GH. I have done very little amounts. And my old coach, Alec Matrivsky, shout out Alec, right? His mother is a dentist. His mother measured his jaw on GH because Alec used to be one of those guys who was like, yeah, it's Ryan, it's about the GH. You're not taking the GH. I'm taking the GH. This is when we were like 20, right? He wanted to get big. He bulked up, got big. I was still fucking around with the SARMs. But when he got big, he decided to use Deck and GH, like the fucking text book way to get big his mother measured his jaw his jaw was growing off very little dosages of gh we bring up another example dave palumbo before dave palumbo after you can see the skeleton change you can see the cranium change me and alec have talked about this on the podcast multiple times on people's faces changing with the gh abuse all i'm letting you know is when i go in these forums or i hear people talking in the gym about gh you know it's never with the side of caution it's as if it's this fountain of youth that you keep taking and it never bites you that is so far from the truth and i'm not even going into the issues revolving around your pancreas revolving around GH causing fasting, high resting blood glucose, which most people on GH don't test. You can insinuate type one diabetes by using GH without using insulin. So if I'm gonna like, I'm, I'm trying to get big. I'm trying to be an open pro bodybuilder. I'm gonna start taking six IUs of GH a day. If I don't take insulin, my pancreas is gonna die trying to keep up with that amount of GH. Your pancreas only has so many beta cells in it. Your beta cells die, they don't replace. As your beta cells die, you're not gonna release any insulin. If you keep your body in this constant state of growth with this constant high IGF from doing all this HGH, when does your pancreas get a break? Never, never. So if you're gonna go buck wild with the GH, you gotta go with the insulin as well, which I'm not allowed to talk about insulin because everyone gets mad every time I talk about it. So I'll just touch on that factor. Hopefully from my rant you can see how frustrated i get where people downplay all these issues regarding gh it's really not a free ride the heart damage is there the organ damage is there the cell replication aging your body faster is there yes you're gonna have more tissue yes it's needed in my opinion if you want to earn a pro card or have aspirations to compete as a pro definitely could play a role as a toll to help you get that feat but if you are going over one to two i use where if we look at the medical data one to two i use you seem to get a good longevity benefit you seem to get away with it if you're pushing into bodybuilder dosages which is three to upwards of 10 i use a day you will face consequences not acutely aka immediately down the line you will face repercussions i will see you guys in my next video